Well, this is going to be more of a look inside than a teardown. This is a F5 Networks Big IP 3900 series network appliance. I don't remember what it does, to be honest. I think it's a load balancer. <laughs> um, unfortunately, this says something wrong with it. I suspect the power supplies are bad because when you power it on, the uh, front display and button, or well, not button, I don't know, the little logo light, it just kind of strobes and there's no signs of it trying to power on. So I figured it'd be fun to see what's inside before I recycle it. I do suspect these power supplies are dead. Both units are behaving the same, so uh, yeah, there's not much I can do there. Also, the value of them is kind of up for debate, so I don't feel it's worth me messing with selling them. It just makes more sense to recycle them since they're already acting bizarre. What I thought was kind of neat is these have a 300 gig Velociraptor in them, which I'm hopefully going to sell if they're good. I have another one of these I should mention, I guess. <laughs> That's why I'm referring to them in plural. But they chose a different approach for their power breakout cable for the hard drive compared to um, that piece of video conferencing equipment I tore down. I'm not sure why they went this route when they could have went with a standard like four pin Molex connector and gotten gotten an adapter that was more common. I'm sure this is a semi-common style power adapter. I've just you don't see them very often. I'm not sure what application they're used in other than custom stuff like this. And there is a 8 gig CF card in here. Silicon Drive 2. It's a decent brand. This will get thrown in my box of CF cards I never use. <laughs> and ouch. I think in this particular unit, uh, it's DDR2 if I'm right. Yep. 2 gig PC2 5300 So, pretty old. Assembly. I'm just going to move that out of the way and see what the processor is. And this has a pretty beefy looking heatsink on it, solid copper. Without looking based on the memory, I'm going to guess this is probably going to be like a low end Core 2 Duo. Otherwise, I'm trying to think of what socket 771 Xeons were in this generation. Probably some sort of early Xeon. Maybe a Pentium 4, but I don't think it's that old. Alright. What do we got? X3220, 2.4 GHz, 8 meg, 1066 bus. So, just your basic run of the mill quad core. I don't know what's wrong with this phone. It doesn't want to focus. There we go. Not much to see inside, though. If a person wanted to get fancy, there's a lot of room inside of this uh, chassis to maybe do like a custom build thing with it, but for me this is just, it's just e-waste. There's no, uh, there's no value in this to me. I got tons of server chassis I need to get rid of as it is. Um, the power supplies require some unscrewing. One or two screws. Looks like it's just one. I'm gonna leave the other one in. There we go. Just your standard hot swappable power supply. I can't imagine there's anything too exciting under these controller chips. I see some Broadcom ones that don't have heat sinks already. Well, Zoom in. Okay. And 
around. I suppose it'll be nice to rotate this in the right little room. Excuse the noise. Some basic stuff there. I'm sure those are for the networking ports. I'm kind of intrigued. They have a socket and BIOS chip. I guess I'm reasonably certain it's a BIOS chip. I don't know what else it would be. I guess firmware. I should be wearing my safety glasses, but I forgot them. <laughs> and I'm just put get in frame. Let's see if we can pop one of these off. There we go. Yeah, just some more Broadcom chips. Not too surprising. Yeah. That's more than likely just to control the networking functions on the front. Yeah. Not the best screwdriver for prying. There we go. I assume this is going to be more of the same if I can get this off. Yep, just some more Broadcom chips. So, probably kind of boring. <laughs> Not too much to see. Just a custom PC and a custom case, basically. So, thanks for watching.